So to close for today, I just want to recommend a practice to you all to just try. And um, we all know the uh, story of the second ancestor of Zen. I believe we probably all heard it, who, uh, who asks Bodhidharma to, uh, says his mind's not at peace, and Bodhidharma says, show me your mind, and I will, I will, I will give it peace. And, and um, the second ancestor says, I've searched exhaustively for it, and it cannot be found. And uh, the Tibetans have a particular way of looking at this, which is interesting um, in Dzogchen practice, which is very similar to our Shikantasa practice. Um, and they, too, share the, the uh, sense that the mind is not a thing that can be found. It's not a boundary thing that exists in here. It's if, you, if you turn around and look for it, you can't find any edge to it. It just runs on forever if you take that backward step. And, um, but they, they point up that although it, it isn't a thing, it has characteristics. And the, the primary characteristic is it can know. It receives information somehow. And uh, I found it so interesting to look at that moment where the mind knows something, whether it's hearing a sound or whether it's receiving a... Uh, a thought or some other sense impression, a sensation in the body, um, to look really closely at that. And the way we think of it is this sensation has appeared in my mind. But if you take your vision very, very close and look at that moment of cognition, ask yourself, is there really a separate observer and a separate object? And it's if you, if you look very closely at uh, a moment of perception, you can't find a, an observer, an object perceived. All, all there is is perception. There's a continuum of perception. David Hume. Mm. David Hume. And, uh, and when Roshi said that, I, um, it, was, it was one of these moments where it was just so obviously true. But we have to see for ourselves. And... Uh, that's another way into a similar thing, to look very closely at that moment of perception and say, is there really a me? We assume there's a me standing outside looking at this moment of perception, but can you find it? It's a great practice. So. Well, thank you all for listening to my tale of woe and adventure. Mm -hmm. And um, I wish you well in the rest of your practice this week together. I'm so happy to be here and to share this time with you.